This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is a WAG-branded key lockbox. For those of you who have never heard of it, WAG can best be described as the Uber of dog walking. It's a technology platform that connects dog owners with dog walkers. As such, this box is intended to secure a key that will give the dog walker access to your home so they can get to the dog. Now it appears to be a branded version of the Sherlock 2 key lock box, and it has a very interesting property. The code to open the door is different from the code to open the shackle. However, those two combinations are always three clicks away from each other. So right now the door combination is 3333, and the shackle combination is 0000. Now this lock is certainly vulnerable to traditional decoding methods using a shim tool like this. However, there's also a more serious problem. The gaps between the lock body and the code wheels are sufficiently wide that I can look right through them to the internal code wheels and see the notches in them. That means I can decode this just by looking at it. I'll demonstrate that for you, but first, we need to change the combination to something I don't already know. To put it into change mode, I turn this a quarter turn, and while the wheels are facing away from me, I'm going to give them a good scramble. Okay, that should be scrambled enough. Let's change it back to operating mode and scramble those wheels one last time. Okay, I now have a box to which I do not know the combination. Decoding it is as easy as turning the wheel until I see the correct notch. 9, 3. Three, one. Okay, folks, as you can see, this is a pretty significant vulnerability. And as such, it's not a product that I would recommend to protect a house key. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.